Council has set up, uh, set up the Creative Cities project. We started it three years ago, and, and as with all of our projects, it, it aims to build um, uh, networks, share experience, and engage people from the UK uh, in, in international networks, European networks, to get new ideas um, and to develop uh, shared solutions to shared challenges. The idea or the concept of the creative city is very interesting uh, because I am focused on the culture policy, arts and culture. It's uh, uh, my uh, item, my professional item, and the creativity is very much connected with the arts and culture. But what is interesting is that uh, the cities today are moving more and more people to the cities should be organized in a good way for the people and uh, the concept helps how to get the ideas to organize the cities better. So it's very much important for the regional development which is a big uh, topic for our future and because also the innovation aspect it's about finding new ideas, you know, making policy process with the discussion between citizens and their governments and uh, the Future City game which uh, in effect brought together citizens, NGOs, people, people from business and different institutions together with the people from the city government. It's really good, uh, good tool how to do it and this was for me the most probably exciting things if the project is done, the two people are together working, they are liking each other and in the end, mostly mm, surprise for most of them was that the citizens and the government people are not against each other and they can talk to, to them and it's good for both of them. called civic creativity, uh, but also to translate it uh, into specific activities uh, that would um, enable um, the establishment of a creative sector. Um, and um, one of the, the ways in which uh, we do it, or one of the things that I personally have been involved in, uh, was uh, running uh, the first Poland's uh, Future City game. Uh, which, whose methodology uh, I really appreciated, um, and as well as um, um, the, the umbrella that we had uh, within the Creative Cities project.
Um, hi, my name is Tom Fleming. Um, I run a small consultancy and research company called Tom Fleming Creative Consultancy based in London, but we work all over the world. And what we do is we work with municipalities and governments, but also with, this, with the creative industry sector and the cultural sector to co-create policy and strategy that is meaningful in a local context. Too many cities look at um, importing culture and having a kind of very international um, focus in their European capital culture process. Um, I think the, the, that's changing though, and I think that the successful cities, the, the, the cities that will win there, uh, will, will become the, um, go from candidate city to become European capital culture, will be those that actually um, have things that are uh, uh, utterly driven from, from what is unique about that city, uh, and are all about collaboration, all about partnership, all about the local and international coming together. Urban design is quite new, it doesn't really exist in Russia. So I hope to, to bring this expertise of urban design to the Biennale and to give Russian architects a broader perspective of what architecture on a bigger scale is except zoning and planning. Well, we're in a castle in Warsaw um, where an amazing group of people have come together just to talk about and share experience and um, improve the way in which they uh, create and run social enterprises around the world. Within the next five years, it's estimated that the social enterprise sector will be worth about $300 billion globally. The economic landscape is changing. What you're seeing here is a group of younger pioneers who are trying to find their own answer to the problem, but are actually the future. Creative Cities is about sharing best practice and ideas across cities worldwide and in Europe. And to enable networking, we have created Creative Cities online platform, which is not only a notice board on what's happening in, within the project, but it is also an archive of interesting reports and articles about creativity, entrepreneurship and innovation in the cities. One of those has been commissioned by uh, British Council and prepared by Young Foundation and it's called Breakthrough Cities Report, which is an interesting uh, thing to read uh, and learn from. We also are present on Facebook. We have got over 2,600 members who are engaging online with us, sharing ideas and best practice about and discussing things about creativity. And you can also find us on Twitter. So stay tuned, check it out for yourself, and enjoy. Clearly the key to success is intelligent, charismatic, thoughtful, strategic leadership. Um, and more seriously, um, uh, taking risks, but taking thoughtful, mitigated risk. Nobody solves all the problems. If anybody tells you they have all the answers, they're not compliant with their medication.